But let's measure out 30 grams. What's good YouTube? Welcome to the channel Food Tithes in another episode of The Last Diet Bender. My name is Kenton, your favorite online nutritionist, and today I'll be reviewing a pretty unique item. This time I had to go out of my way and order it online so I couldn't pop into my usual vitamin shop or GNC. I'm actually really excited for this because um, I just think it's very unique again. And it just seems like it's gonna taste really good at least i hope you never really know with a lot of these like protein snacks but that's why i'm doing this thing so let's get into it you know the deal no wasting time today i will be reviewing protein puffs by twin peaks so if you ever remember getting those cheese balls and those big plastic containers as a kid, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, this is like the protein version of it, okay? So pretty much they're saying that a serving of this, so we'll get into the nutrition facts, is 21 grams of protein, which is pretty crazy. So I'm really interested to see like what this is made up of and get a deeper dive into the ingredients and that kind of thing. Is it just all chemicals? Is it natural stuff? Who knows? So let's get in. Let's just hop right into the nutrition facts. So in a serving, it's one of one cup, 30 grams, totals out to 120 calories, total fat, three grams, total carbohydrates, two grams, total pro protein, 21 grams, no fiber, uh, total sugars, one gram, has some calcium in there, has some potassium in there. Let's get into the ingredients though. Milk protein isolate, sunflower oil, dextrin, salt, non-fat, dry milk, different powders, jalapeno pepper, da -da -da, cheddar cheese, silicon dioxide, natural flavors, citric acid, turmeric, contains milk. You know, some, some natural stuff in there, some fake stuff in there, but uh, mostly protein, I guess. I guess they just made little puff balls out of the, the whey um, and then seasoned it up. Let's not waste any time here. Let's 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 taste this and I'm actually gonna grab my scale just to make sure that I measure out the serving, the full serving, so that we can get a good idea of like how much that actually is. Again, 21 grams of protein, which is pretty crazy. So if we end up getting a lot of these, because these like popcorn, it's so light that you can get a lot of it per serving. So I'm assuming that's what it's gonna be like with this product as well. Oh, and I skipped a few details. So it's jalapeno cheddar flavor. It's soy free, gluten free, and it has BCAAs and your essential amino acids in there as well too. So this is a pretty, if this tastes really damn good, then I may just cop this product pretty often. So we'll see, I got, again, I got the jalapeno cheddar. The smell actually isn't that strong. But I, I do, I do smell the the jalapeno in there. Um, well, let's measure out 30 grams. Oh, All right, so this is actually a decent sized bowl, and again, 21 grams of protein in this entire serving. So let me give you a close up. Focus, focus. There you go. Kind of looks like some like crunch pop cereal a little bit, like orange crunch pop cereal. So again, this is all, with this whole thing is 21 calories. Um, it's not a big snack, but I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's a protein shake right there. Okay, so these actually are not bad at all. I actually feel like I should have gotten the cheddar more so than the jalapeno cheddar. There, it, there is spice to it, so that that's pretty on point. I'm not really getting a lot of cheddar flavor though. That's the only thing that's disappointing. It's pretty light on that end. And in the beginning, it's almost like I was unsure. Like it didn't really, there was not much taste to it until I kept eating more. So you definitely need to grab like a handful of these at a time, as opposed to just a few. But um, it's not bad. Like. Doesn't taste crazy good or anything like that. Again, they have other flavors, so I think if I just got the cheddar, maybe would have 
tastes a little bit better, but I mean, hey, this whole thing is 21 grams. It's a good snack. It's a healthier alternative. So that gives it points right there. Um, aside from the taste, because I mean, you know, they got to do their best. Like, it's not like they're going to be like spot on with this and make it taste exactly like a cheese puffs or a Cheetos cheese puffs. So there it is. There's okay. I'd actually give them a seven in terms of taste, but like in terms of a, an overall snack, I actually do think this is a very cool pro and useful product for somebody who's on a diet, wants to be able to snack on things like these, but in a healthier way. I mean, you're gonna get 21 grams. Again, I'm kind of repeating myself, but like this is 21 grams of protein. I'm actually pretty impressed by that. Maybe I'll give it a 7.5 just because of that alone. And it's pretty low calorie. Could have more fiber in it, but I feel like that would have probably made it really tough. It's not bad. I like it. I want to try the different flavors. I thought I'd be more impressed by the flavor of the jalapeno cheddar just because I saw the reviews, but it was okay. Nice and crunchy, light cheddar flavor, a bit spicy with the jalapeno. We get about 10 servings out of this container. This actually cost me about 25 bucks on Amazon, so not something I'd be buying often, but like once in a while, like very, very once in a while, sparingly, um, I'd probably get something like this. Um, but otherwise, you know, it did serve this purpose for this video, of course. So with that being said, thank you again for watching another episode of The Last Diet Bender. Stay tuned for the next review. Signing out.